Alright guys, what is going on? I am Reefly. You guys are watching Assassin's Creed for a PC. Last time we assassinated our third or fourth target. Um, it was an interesting one because the guy was expecting us, uh, which was planned. But yet again, uh, the Templar seemed to be thinking that we were naive in some way. And we were the ones who don't understand what's going on. And it's making Altair think, but then Alamoon's like, yeah, no, don't, don't pay attention to them. Where is my target? That must be him. Stop it, drunk dude! Dang it, Pippa, I can get out of the way. God dang it! Everybody, get out of the way! Yes, blended. <laughs> Perfect timing! Alright, is that the wrong dude? No, that's the right dude. Why did it fit? Oh, did I assassinate the wrong guy? I'm pretty sure that was it. So, um, back to my amazing story I was just talking about at the end of the last part. Um, I don't even know what the frick's going on. <laughs> I'm watching the show, I don't even know what's going on. Like, it's interesting. Are they dead yet? No? Then what are you doing here? Do you want me dead? Yes, Please, because you go and come back suck at being an assassin. You. Okay, let's start with this guy over here is done. Uh, so, yes, I was at the Game Informer live stream watching it. Fun times. The guy was giving away free stuff. Um. No, this chick needs. I will punch you in the face. Um. So yes, giving away free stuff. Uh. So you know about like halfway through the stream. Uh. He he gave away like five copies of Dragon's Crown already. I don't care if you need the money. I need you to shut up. He gave away like yeah, five copies of Dragon's Crown already. Um, he gave away I think two or three uh, codes for Shimigami. Shimigami. Um, and you know I was like, trying to win anything. Like he was asking questions and all that stuff, and I just answered them just or tried to answer them just because I want to test my. My gaming knowledge. Someone tell me why he's doing that. Um, so, yeah, about halfway or three quarters of the way through the stream, uh, he just suddenly asked, like, a question, like, what was the review, who reviewed, uh, Dragon's Crown for Game Informer? And, you know, I, I, I knew the answer, so I'm like, um, it was this guy. And one guy got right before me. Wow, that was perfect timing. No, nope, don't target him. Um, so yeah, one guy answered it before me correctly. I was the second one. And I'll just say it before, I'll say it right now. He just said the last, I said the first full name, okay? I said the full name. Um, so I think I was technically the first oh, one, but you know, whatever. I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Well, you're completely useless, man. Like, you didn't, you had one job and you did it wrong. 
Alright, let's get this viewpoint. Um, so yes, I got... I was second. But, uh... After that, he, like, said, uh... Blah, 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 briefly, And then, like, uh, capital. So I guess I still got it right. Yeah, I'm like, oh, cool, I got a question right. Yippee. I thought he was just, you know, saying who got the question right. So I just keep going on watching the stream. And then he gives away all the Shimigami Tensei stuff and all of, uh, the Dragon's Crown. And I'm like, well, I answered a question right, so did I get anything? And I looked back in the, the comments and all that. Um, and I didn't see anything before, like, okay, whoever gets this right gets blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I guess I didn't get anything. So then, I, you know, I was watching this on Twitch. Um, in my Twitch account. And then, uh, so, like, I just go and check, like, use PMing people for, for, uh, if they won or whatever. So, I don't know what m made me think to go check, but I went and checked to see if I won anything. I don't know why I was so obsessed with this. Like, I, I, I waited, like, 20 minutes until after that question I answered. And... I have a, a, a message, I'm like, oh wow, uh, let's go check it out. And it's from the guy from Atmos. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, so I answer it, and or I look at it, and I apparently won a, a, cop, a copy of Dragon's Crown, like whatever one I wanted. So, either the PS3 or Vita one. I'm like, oh sweet, I actually won something. I never won anything. Um... The thing is, I don't own a PS3 or Vita, <laughs> so I won a copy. This place is restricted. You're dead, haha. <laughs> You're restricted now. Uh, I won a copy of a game I can't play because I don't have the system. And like, I would have like when he was giving away the Shimigami Tensei codes, like he just threw them on there. I don't own a, own a 3DS, so I couldn't get that. So it's kind of like, oh man, everything, like, he's giving away all the stuff, but I don't have anything to play it on. Or even the sense of system that plays these games. Um, so I won the copy, uh, and he's like, oh, what do you want, the Vita or PS3? Let me know, if, give me your address and all that stuff, and I'll send it to you. And I'm like, okay. I could just, you know, not respond and be like, yeah, I don't even have one. I don't have a Vita or a PS3. Uh, but the stream was over by the time I could have answered him. And I am really lost now. Um, so, but then I'm like, well, I mean, <laughs> even though I don't have a Vita or a PS3, I guess I could still get the game, you know. Um, and, you know, I asked for the Vita version. Because I am highly considering getting getting a Vita. Uh, just says something on the go. Um, I'm waiting for kind of a price drop. Found one more guy. Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. You're a terrible assassin. <laughs> Alright, so yes, I won the... V I asked for the Vita version. I am considering getting a Vita. Um... And even if I wasn't gonna get a Vita, like, I was thinking, if, should I have gotten the PS3 version and I could have just traded it and got like 40 bucks for it? Um, like, I'm concerned, maybe I should have said PS3 version. Just because I could have gotten, like, like I said, 40 bucks, but the Vita version is like. 10 bucks cheaper, so I probably wouldn't have only gotten like 30 bucks for it. So I'm like, I'm either gonna trade it in 
I'm either not ever gonna get it, because that tends to happen a lot. <laughs> or I'm gonna go buy a Vita just because I got one free game. <laughs> so we'll have to see. I, I was excited for Dragon's Crown, even though I didn't have a Vita or a PS3. It looked cool, like I said. Um, so I got it for free. I mean, yeah, that's my, that's my story. I got a free Dragon's Crown Vita version. Even though I don't own a Vita. Or a PS3. And people are like, oh, you can give it away to your fans. And I'm like, the thing is with that. Is that I have to do all the shipping and handling and all that crap. Uh, and I really don't want to pay for that. And it's a pain in the butt. And I have to find somebody who has a Vita. Who's one of my fans. And I don't know, I gave that to some random guy who just comes in. Oh, yeah, I'm your fan. I've been watching you for like one day. No. It's gotta be like Mr. Normal Guy kind of fan. Or Holtz Wig. So I guess I'm just in the. I'm probably. Odds are I'm gonna trade it in. Unless the Vita price cut happens. Thank you, Andre. I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. Yeah, some, yeah I'll probably trade it in most often. Is the. Uh, I'm expecting a Vita price cut at Gamescom. If that doesn't happen, I don't know when it's gonna happen. I will punch you in the face. Nope, wrong person. <laughs> oh, wrong side. There's one over here. Oh, <laughs> don't pay attention to me. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I'm hoping the Game Informer does this stuff every week and I can get a free copy of a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully for Xbox or something. <laughs> Xbox 360 or PC codes or something like that. Or we, something from my Wii U. Maybe Pikmin 3. <laughs> and also, I need to go to Game Informer. Like, this is just me talking about stuff I need to do. That's what's going to happen this part. Uh, I need to go to GameStop. Um, ah, there's one over here. Okay. I need to go to GameStop and trade in my PSP. I and my my games for my PSP. Um, even though I don't think I'll get anything at all for it, my PSP is broken. Like it does not even turn on. Um. So, what's the point of having something that it's just completely broken? That's, that's what I think. Uh, so yes, I'll probably just... Back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. Shut up, man. This time, al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. This time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. Go screw yourself. Um. Alright, here's the first flag. Did I already miss one? <laughs> no, I just have to. Dang it, guy! I thought you were a fl No! Okay, well, I already screwed this up. Flags, where's the flags? I'm gonna fail this. There's some this way. Where are we stupid flags? God dang it, this sucks. 
we got two out of 20. Great. Right, I'm experiencing some lag right here. Okay, I guess he just. I found a root finally. No, that wouldn't be funny, man. Yeah, so hopefully I can. I want to trade in my PSP all the games. Hopefully I can get like 20 bucks for that. I mean, I really doubt I'll get more than that. Even though a PSP costs like a hundred bucks to get right now. And I have like six Vita games, or not Vita, uh, PSP games. Wow, that was actually really easy. Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. Go well, screw yourself, man. I hate you. Alright, we need some action in this part. Let's do this. Boom! Oh, bam! Oh, you're dead. I didn't even count it there. That's kind of cool. Suppose I should thank you. Though don't think I couldn't have handled them myself. Still, you've done right by me. I'll see to it that the favor is returned. Okay. All right, you're welcome, lady. Is that? Oh my. Who did this? Not me. <laughs> yeah. So let me guys think. Oh dang it. Let me guys know what you think I can get for my PSP in like six Vita games. Or, not, not Vita, PSP games. I mean, the, my, the PSP games, I'm not going to get crap for. I know that. They're all like sports games from like 2007. Who wants to buy those? Nobody. And uh, I am still considering trading my Wii U. But uh, with Wind Waker HD coming out very soon, it's kind of a uh, difficult decision. Because I expect a Wii U price cut to happen soon. So I want to trade it in. Uh, I'll have, like, I'll get the exact same amount. I'll probably get maybe a little bit less. Maybe the exact same as what a, a Wii U is going to cost. Like this price cut. But I could gain some extra money for a little bit. But yeah, if the, if the Vita goes under 200 bucks, I'll be buying it. Yeah, you know, I'll just stare at my dragon's crown for like two months and be like, hmm, should I trade in? <laughs> By the time like it gets like two months, it'll be like only like 15 bucks. I'll get any money for it. Oh wow, that was that was weird. All right, so that was my huge long story that spanned two parts. Well, wow. it was really interesting, wasn't it? We are so far away from the assassins. Thing. Ah, we're slowly regaining our health too. Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master. But he's not without enemies. 
he and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Strike after William meets with Richard, he'll be distracted by his meeting. Okay. I was actually not planning to give assassination done in this video, but screw it! I'm do whatever I want. Whatevs. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that for the rest of this let's play. I'm on vacation too. I can say whatever whenever I want. Except for in public. So who wants me to say that in public? Man. This is the first time I've encountered slowdowns so far with this game. This is surprising. I was really expecting this game not to run well. This place is restricted. Be gone! Because all my other Assassin's Creed games do not run well on my PC. No, I'm not climbing down. Why does it think I'm climbing down? You've done something wrong, okay? Just upset. Accept it. I don't know why I said obsessed it. I guess back to my Vita story. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna keep talking about that. Um, let me know if you guys have won like anything in a contest before. Um, I mean, that's first time I've won anything, and I wasn't even expecting. I like, I just, I didn't even know I was gonna win anything by answering the question. I may die. When is he gonna stop this nonsense? Never. A few coins, all I ask for. A few coins. Looks like something's going on here. will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened. I guess the stupidest haircut I've ever seen. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemy so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics. I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. This is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence would be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me.
I'm totally gonna, I'm totally gonna get my guy's haircut. <laughs> Let's have the half bald, the half bald, half just regular haircut. You know, you look at me from the. Where I could go. You look at me from the front, you're like, oh, that guy has no hair. And you look from me from behind, you're like, oh, that guy's bald. Okay. But no, I'm both. Hmm. I really don't think I can actually get up here from here. Oh, maybe I can. I could just kill a civilian in front of the gate, like usual. We'll change it up. Grab that. Don't worry about me, man. Just uh, smoking some weed. You know what I'm talking about. Stop. You must not trespass. I'm not trespassing. I'm just taking a nice walk. Nobody's here, don't worry about it. You are not allowed to talk. You are not allowed to talk. Heed well what I have to say. Right, I want to kill this guy. Speaking with the king, and the news is grim. We stand accused of failing in our duties. He does not he recognize the value of our contributions to the cause. For shame! He knows nothing! He's wrong! Peace! Peace! Hold your tongue! Aye, he speaks falsely, but his words are not without some merit. To tour these grounds, it is easy to find fault, to see imperfection. I fear we have grown slack and lazy. Never! We are committed! Why do you say this? I see the way you train. You lack conviction and focus. You gossip and gamble. Tasks set to you are left unfulfilled or poorly performed. This ends today. I will not suffer further degradation at his hands. For whether or not you see it, and you should, this is your fault. You've brought shame upon us all. Skill and dedication are what won us, Ark, and they will be required to keep it. I have been too lenient, it seems. But no more. You will train harder, and more often. If this means missing meals, missing sleep, so be it. And should you fail in these tasks, you will learn the true meaning of discipline. Bring them forward. If I must make examples of some of you to ensure obedience, so be it. The two of you stand accused of whoring and drinking while on duty. What say you to these charges? My, 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 my lord, please. We, we, we meant no harm by it. We, we forgot ourselves. It will not happen again. No, it won't. <laughs> this regard for duty is infectious. It shall be rooted out and destroyed. In this way, we may prevent its spread. Am I understood? Yes, my lord. Of course, by your command. Good, good. Return to your posts filled with a new sense of purpose. Stay strong, stay focused, and we will triumph. Falter, however, and you will join these men. Be sure of it. Dismissed! Alright, just uh, as you can see, don't assassinate them right there. Because <laughs> there's a lot of guards. Um, so you're just going to wait. That's what you're going to do. And bless, he's just chilling there. <laughs> he partly notices you, but he's like, yeah, whatever. I don't even care. Okay, he's not gonna assess now. Trying to do a nice air assassination, but it's not working. There we go. 
Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? God, his haircut's so I stupid. I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Appa for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the only know is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akra does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intentions. Alright, so yet again, we seem to be the bad guys. Or, that's how they want us to think we are, but we're, we are what we not we were. Alright, you got it. Okay, so like that one guy said, he sucked at freaking opened up the gate, so, <laughs> we gotta climb through the top. Nope! Oh, good catch. He won't get away that easily. Ah, looks like we got a nice little skydive thing. Jump! Alright, I'm gonna be spotted again, I know that. Yep, it didn't last long. I'm not an assassin. He slipped. I caught him. He fell in my sword. I did not try to do that. Right, well, I'm not even gonna try to hide until I get to closer to the burrow. And like I mentioned before in uh last part. I was playing Assassin's Creed 3 and like I played it for like about 20 minutes to half an hour and about mm, about 28 of those half hour minutes I, I spent fighting guys um, because that game is ridiculous when it comes to not letting you ever run away from bad guys or guards. They just don't, they will catch you. It's like their destiny to catch you. And there's so many of them. Get in there, god dang it. There are so many guards in that game. It's ridiculous. Like, there's always like at least 20 and they all have like half of them have guns and they're shooting at you and you there's like these up, upper class guys that are strong and you can't do anything about it. It's just ridiculous. I don't know how I managed to like beat a game so much. Like it's it's kind of like hard in a stupid way. <laughs> that makes any sense. This game you're like the, the top dog and nobody can really catch you at this point. In Assassin's Creed 3, like, you're top dog when it's fighting. Except for when you really are sucking at fighting, then you're not. What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. 
You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for comrade, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with al -Mualim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay. Alright, so we have another assassination. Done. That's our fifth, I believe. Ah, uh, yes, let's do that. This is a pretty long part, but whatever. When you have been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight and try to hide from them. Stay hidden until you are anonymous again. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. <laughs> Why are you hiding back there, man? As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Alright. Moving on up. You gain balance and dodge. Alright, nice. And sword expertise. Alright, so I'll wrap it up there. Nice long part for you guys where I had an amazing story. And I had a pretty flawless assassination. So, yeah. So I'll see you in the next part. We'll probably head to, if it lets me fast travel, we're heading to Jerusalem. If not, then we're heading to Damascus. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I've been Reefly. See you in the next part. I got Dragon's Crown for free. Awesome.